Okay, so we are just hours away from uh, FOMC. So um, one of the reasons why we haven't been trading much is also because of uh, FOMC. And so we thought, um, why not just record a video sharing with you uh, our thoughts about um, the market currently. Okay, so today is actually 30th of October. It's um, 10.46 p.m. Okay, um, we are based here in GMT plus 8 time zone. So that means that the... Um, FOMC is happening in about four hours time. So if you are watching this video um, around this time right now, um, then this, this video will help you to prepare um, for FOMC. Okay. So the first thing that we want to talk about uh, would be um, the dollar index, DXY. So uh, if you don't know what the DXY is or you have not watched the previous video about DXY, uh, go check it out. Okay. Uh, it's in our YouTube channel. Okay. So now we, we are in the daily time frame. So in the daily time frame, uh, let's uh, just look at it. Okay, so we can see that uh, there are some levels of support here. Okay, this is a daily candle. So if you take this high, this candle high, and you know this series of highs over here, if you consider this high and uh, drag it down to account for this uh, low as well, um, then you will see that um, DXY is currently sitting on support. Okay, but um, whether price will just you know break down or not, um, we do not know. Okay, but currently we see that uh, price it's uh you know it's holding here. Okay, in fact there's a nice uh engulfing candle over um support over here. Okay, and uh, if you look at the trend wise um we are still in a kind of like uptrend. Okay, you have a swing high here, you swing low, swing high, swing low, swing high. Okay, um, depends on how you see it. If you see this as a double top. Okay, then um, you know you see this as a double top, this high and this high is a double top. Then um, yes, uh, price has kind of broken, uh, the double top. Okay, but to us we still see this as, as an uptrend. Okay, partly because um, this uh, low is not broken yet. Okay, this low is not broken yet. Okay, so uh, we still see it as an uptrend, and um, based on the daily time frame, we see that this is still a very uh, important zone. Okay, so. Price it's kind of a range bound right now. You have a resistance at this level, okay. So um, if you are trading DXY directly, then uh, you want to look for opportunities over here, okay. Um, but I think most of you guys won't trade DXY. So uh, what you can do is that if you see a dollar index, uh, you know, holding over here, and you want to um, buy dollar, you can actually do it into like um, short euro dollar, short uh, Aussie dollar, short Kiwi dollar, and uh, stuff like that. Okay, so for now, we see that um, it's a support and um, there's resistance over here. Of course, uh, if it's broken, then uh, you should see for the upside. Okay, but um, we have a bull bullish bias for this. Okay, next one I want to talk about would be a goal. Okay, um, just a moment, let me remove this volume. Okay. So gold, um, gold is also pretty interesting. Okay, um, okay, let me change. Okay, so you can see that there's this zone of support here. It's it's kind of like uh, this strong support over here. This entire zone, and price is like neither here nor there currently. Okay, there's no strength in this bounce. Okay, but um, one thing to note would be um, if you change to the line chart, you can see that uh, there is a kind of like a a peak over here, right? So and price has kind of um show first sign of violating um this peak, right? So it signals that there might be a trend change. Okay, but it's still too early to say because uh price hasn't closed above um this. Okay, ideally we want price to you know um close above and do a you know retest before um we look for buying opportunities to uh to buy it higher. Okay, uh, it's still early to say. Uh, in fact, we recommend not to touch this pair because, um, to be honest, it's quite uh, it's quite messy. Okay, it's quite messy, and uh, we don't really want to trade this. Okay, so um, wait for it. Okay, look for a trend change. Otherwise, uh, if you are shorting really, you are shorting into um support. Okay, which is why we also say uh, we don't really want to trade much because even if you trade. Um, you kind of have only a bit of meat from here to here, you know, and then your stop loss, you know, the risk to reward is not that great. So we're not too keen about um, taking a position over here. Okay. So let's look at a uh, euro dollar. Okay. Euro dollar, um, we have some lines over here. Okay. Uh, let, let's just go to the day chart first to see if we can find anything. 
Okay, um, on the daily, it's kind of like still an uptrend, okay? In fact, yesterday's candle was kind of a bullish candle because uh, it closed above uh, the previous high here and also this low here, okay? In fact, today's low, it's uh, kind of being uh, supported here with the previous, uh, you know, previous low here, okay? So, let's go to H4, okay? But on the H4, you see that, um, you know, price is currently at resistance. So that makes it very difficult to trade because uh, on the daily time frame, you kind of know that, uh, you know, support is here and uh, resistance is there, okay? That is why price is, you know, um, is moving within this very tight range of about 15 pips only, okay? It uh, doesn't really make sense to be taking a trade because um, it's just consolidating right now, it's constipated. Okay, um, if you've been following us for some time, you will know that um, during FOMC, price will always uh, be very constipated until after FOMC. So this is precisely what is happening. So if you use this, um, you know, this range as a, you know, as a gauge of price, uh, price consolidating, then uh, any breakouts uh, will give you the direction towards uh, what you should do next. Okay, so if you see uh, after tonight's FOMC, uh, price breaks down uh, convincingly then uh, we are probably heading lower, okay? If not, then we are heading higher if it breaks, okay? So I think the last pair that we just want to talk about uh, would be dollar-yen, okay? Um, dollar-yen. So dollar-yen, uh, as obvious as, as it gets, it's, we are in uptrend. I mean, there's no doubts about it, right? You have a swing high, you have a swing low, you have a swing high, and you have a swing low that retests um, the uh, structural highs over here, okay? So yesterday's candle, you know, it's just been doji, but uh, the day before that, you have a very solid close. So um, definitely you want to pay attention to um, this level over here. Uh, let me just show it. This level over here, this candle high as well, this candle high. This is uh, where the support will come in at. Okay, this levels. Okay. And uh, one thing to, to note is also that um, when the H4 is bullish, uh, it's in alignment with the daily trend. Okay, you, you have an uptrend and uh, you kind of see a impulsive, corrective, impulsive, corrective, impulsive, corrective uh, structure. Okay, uh, what does impulsive and corrective mean? That means, um, impulsive means, uh, you know, uh, big movements and then you have consolidation or otherwise known as retracement. Then you have big movement, then you have retracements and big movements and retracements. Okay, think about it. Okay, um, these two candles meet this kind of um you know made this kind of distance and it took how many candles you take one two three four five six six candles just to uh, retrace down okay so this is definitely a retracement and uh, we should see higher uh, price moving higher okay and uh, this is also a good level to be buying off okay but um this is not a trade call uh do not just enter just because we say you know this is a good level okay uh, if there's any trade um opportunities will send it your way but for now um this is a good level to be looking to buy okay uh, as seen from the daily as well as um the h4 okay so i think that's about it for this video uh we don't want to make it too long so as you go into fomc um please make sure you manage your risk because um anything can happen okay and we don't want you to uh, blow your account okay so trade safe, if you have a pair that you die die want us to analyze because maybe you have a super big position or something, uh, please comment down below. Um, we will see if we can record something for you. As, and that, that's it for this video, okay? Please subscribe to our channel if you have not and we'll see you in future videos.